So we have this property of logarithms. Log of A plus log of B that equals log of A times B. Uh, this only works if the base of the logarithm are the same. If I didn't write a base on these, that means they're log base 10, but this would still work if this was a 3 and this is a 3. They're the same base, so you could say it's a log of the arguments of both those first logarithms multiplied. So we're going to do the same thing up here. This is like our A, and it's like our B. So make sure to use parentheses around this whole thing. Um, we're going to do a natural log. Natural log is just a log base E, right? So x squared minus 9 times 9. So that's what the entire left side of the equation now looks like. It's this entire parentheses. Here, I'll make that look better. Uh, maybe this is uglier. And this entire argument, x squared minus 9, so that's why I put in parentheses, that entire thing times this 9 here. That's like our a, and that's like our b. And now, if this is going to be a true equation, you got a natural log equals a natural log. That's only going to be true if all this stuff equals 4, right? So you can make an easier equation. You can say, well, the inside of those logarithms needs to be the same. So that's the one-to-one -one property. That needs to be a true statement. So you want to distribute that 9, both terms inside this parentheses. And then you want to solve that equation for x. You want to add that 81 to both sides. Divide both sides by 9. And then use a square root to cancel out a squared, right? And a square root of a squared number means we need to consider both the positive and negative solutions. So x is going to be positive or negative. Here, I'll draw this one. Positive or negative square root of 85 over 9. And I think that's probably where you know, the software will want you, want you to leave it. You could say that it's equivalent to something else. Because if you're square rooting something, like a fraction like this, you can take a square root of the top, divide by a square root of the bottom. So the square root of the top, of the top we can't simplify that. That's just the square root of 85. The square root of 9 is 3. So those are our two solutions. And you always want to check your solutions because you can't have a logarithm of a negative number. But if I was to plug in negative square root of 85 over 3 back in here, it's going to get squared, so it's going to get turned into a positive anyway. So this is our solution.